The Saiga antelope is one of the very few large ancient animals left from the last glacial maximum, 20,000 years ago. This antelope is now classified as critically endangered. Historical records showed that they were abundant until the end of the Soviet Union, 1991, after which their numbers fell by 95%. Now they persist only in a small number of areas in the Central Asian steppe and desert ecosystems. Harsh winters and disease outbreaks in the last two decades has meant that these populations have fluctuated wildly between 750 and 15,000 individuals. These random events are exacerbated further by human pressures placed on their habitats, such as irrigation, physical obstructions on migration routes, degradation of pasture lands, and diminishing water resources by livestock, the main local industry in Mongolia. These antelope have also suffered a reproductive collapse as males were hunted for their horns. Luckily, these antelope's reproductive strategy has enabled them to persist. After three to four months from birth, the juveniles are completely independent. They have a short maturation and gestation time. Females can give birth within their first year, and from their second reproductive cycle, a small sample has indicated that 25 to 65 percent of the females birth non-identical twins. This is particularly higher when conditions are favorable. All these factors mean that they can reproduce quickly and produce lots of young. Genetic samples taken from small populations in Shaga Gobi and Kuis Gobi show that they had very low genetic diversity, meaning they have an increased chance of developing genetic disorders. They are also more susceptible to pathogens. In 2017, 54% of Mongolian saiga died from a virus called PPR, mostly affecting males and calves, massively altering the herd structures. This is a major extinction risk for the antelope because the nomadic people who live and travel with livestock, mostly goats and sheep, can carry such viruses, which are easily transmitted to the antelope who share the same ranges. Lastly, this low genetic diversity reduces their resilience to big changes, such as the omnipresent issue of climate change. To avoid these genetic fallouts, it is important that these populations have access to each other to widen their gene pool. Protected movement routes, called conservation corridors, have been put into place to help promote contact between different herds. Research has shown that the mixing of the antelope's genetics between the different regions in the Gobi Desert is clearly beneficial for their long-term survival, implying that these corridors between the different regions are essential. These corridors should be protected from poaching, development such as roads, irrigation and other infrastructure within the species' range.